What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rasheed. And I got a very, very special guest. My little tiny baby brother, Big Baby Miller, Jarrell Miller. What's up, baby? How always, you doing, always, man? Always, always, always. Excellent. Good to see you. It's good to see you, man. Listen, um, we're friends. We've been knowing each other for a long time. Um, my heart went out to you um, when, you know, for the, let, me, let me backtrack a little bit. For those who don't know who Big Baby Miller is, Big Baby Miller is one of the top heavyweights in the world, bo pro boxer, undefeated. Used to be one of the top kickboxers. Uh, uh, K1, K1, Glory. Glory. Undefeated except for Cro Cro Cop jerked and, me in that fight, and it was a you know it was a decision you know it was a close fight. So this dude is the real deal, very talented. Um, what he's known for, which is so impressive, is his work rate to be 300 pounds and to go 12 rounds and not get tired is intimidating as fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you know, recently he got he got he he hit the lottery, you know, got a chance to to fight for the heavyweight championship of the world against Anthony Joshua. And um, I'm gonna let you tell him the rest. Uh, um, training 15 years for a title shot for the heavyweight title. Uh, started camp, went into camp with a long injury for the last about a year and a half. You know, I had a growth spurt in the elbow, turn, torn ligament, and uh, didn't want to have surgery. I finally got my shot. I was like, I'm gonna go to camp, you know, and go, you know, hustle muscle through it. Um, quarter way through camp, I was being tested by Vada. I took a stem cell shot that had certain very properties in it that caused me to fail my drug test, which cost me my title shot right now. But, uh, you know, it hurt. It was a lot of money, $7.5 million, and uh, a lot more than rematch after I kicked this behind. But, uh, you know, I'm so used to doing things on my own, you know what I mean? Not firing managers, going through different promoters, and it's always been a learning curve for myself. So getting to a heavyweight title undefeated, practically on my own in so many ways where I had to just read and ask questions, you know, and the one time and the biggest night of my life coming up, I didn't ask the right questions, and it cost me big time. But, you know, life, you know, none, right. of, us are, none of us are perfect. Right. We all go through things and trial and tribulations, and it told me that about people on my team that I have to let go and certain people that I don't need around me when I'm getting ready for these kind of big fights. And uh, it, 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 it's, a, it's an experience. I'm trying to say coming from where I come from and losing an opportunity. A lot of people definitely uh, took it harder than I did. But like I said, man, I'm back in the gym. I'm back to the ground and I'm working on many different projects. Here's the thing, like when when I heard the announcement. I was happy for you. You know, of course, I'm happy for you. I always believed in you, still do. And um, when I seen you was doing camp in Florida, yeah. I was like, ah, I want him to come to Cali. Yeah. I didn't press the issue because you know everybody's busy and shit. Yeah. And um, and I knew you. I didn't want to really. I didn't know how comfortable you were mm -hmm. travel uh, uh, training there versus in Cali or whatever. But my mind, I would have made sure you're insulated and isolated with the best of the best people, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you've been to the office, I got smart people around, very ethical people. So whatever it is that you need, you felt you need injury, whatever, I put you, I was, me gonna personally make sure the right people keep you away from anything that can even be looked at is, is uh, banned or anything like that. Correct, correct. So this is, I should have stepped up more as a friend and pressed the issue, you know what I'm saying? But this is a learning experience. Yeah, facts, and facts. look, bro, we all go through shit. You know what I'm saying? And I know people in the comments gonna talk shit like, you're yeah, right, fuck them. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? As because usual. As usual. This is the thing. This is what I love about life, experience of mine, personally. You know, when I had a situation where my gym, you know, my old partner was doing illegal shit, and then people were like, oh, see, Mike Rasheed had nothing to do with it, but they talked all the shit in the world. Right. You know, it, it upset me. But I, I had confidence in the fact that when the dust settles, mm -hmm. you'll see I'm still here. Correct, There's correct. nothing wrong. Correct. And that's the same situation same with exact, you. Same exact thing because yeah. people asking the question like, oh, I guess he must have been on stuff the whole entire time. He had a good stamina. Like, I guess that's what it was. But if you watch any one of my fights, even as an amateur, I've always had good stamina, always had good cardio, always come forward. And like I said, what was taken was never an anabolic. There's right. many countless other fighters that have been called for anabolics. And I'm not Literally gonna, anabolic. Anabolic right. steroids. Yeah. And, and I'm not going to throw them under the bus, but a lot of them are from England. A lot of them are from America. A lot of them are on camera now talking, talking 
about my situation, you know, but I said before, you know, it is what it is. You're always going to have haters no matter what you do. If you're winning, you're winning. You're losing, you're always going to talk junk. You know what I mean? I want to say, I want to address something that Eddie Hearn said that, that kind of irritated me. Yeah, yeah. So he was like, you know, right after, you know, he was, act, he was so disgusted with mm. you. I was just despicable, whatever. And then he said something up to the effect of you not being enrolled in WBC, mm. right? And sometimes people say, you know, oh, if you, because WBC got the strictest, for y'all don't know, WBC is a sanctioning body. It's a very prestigious belt, the Ali belt, the green belt. And every other org, uh, um, sanctioning body kind of follows what WBC says. But WBC got really legit strict drug mm. testing protocols, and not everybody's in it. Mm. Maybe somebody smoked weed or whatever. Correct. It could be anything, Correct. but it's some, not everybody's rolling it. But he was making that as a point, like, see, he must have been on stuff because yeah. he's not enrolled. Yeah. But the irony of it is, if he's using that logic, then that means your guy, AJ, AJ is not enrolled. Never been in and if game. you're the champion of all these other sanctioning bodies, why would you not be on? Why are you not WBC. ranked in the WBC? Correct, correct. I always looked at that. And then I also, and listen, I have nothing against AJ. Mm. I know you want to rip his head off, but I like AJ. I think he's a cool ass dude. I like how he carries himself. He's good for the sport. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. you, but you my guy. Yeah, yeah. And I do think you could beat him. I'm good for the sport too. You're excellent you, for the sport. Every, every good guy you need, need a villain. Yeah, you, you need, you need mean, those so adversaries. I, I ain't trying to be You need I adversaries. Trying to be him. You're yeah. just being yourself. Correct, and I, correct. I feel like he's being himself. But here's the thing. I don't like when people are uh, throwing stones and living glass houses. Correct, correct, Because correct. you can't, Mr. Hearn, and I, I like Eddie Hearn. Mm. He's dope for boxing, bro. He's killing it. A lot of people hating on him. I'm like, I like that motherfucker. Yeah, true, true. But, but it's certain things you say, like, nah, bro, don't, 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 don't yeah. play us like that. You can't use that logic for Big Baby and not use it for AJ. Fact. Because I remember a time when AJ was like, I've been peeping the, 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 the British boxing scene for a minute because it's dope. They, they, they so spirited over there, you know what I'm saying? And they got a couple good fighters over there. So I'm like, he need to come on over and do what Lennox did. Just, and he, I remember him saying, I forgot when or what interview. He's like, I have, I don't need to go to America. Yeah, it was after Charles here. Martin. It was, it was a really around break before Charles Martin fight. I remember that that he was getting touched up by Dylan White, and they're like, we're not have no interest in fighting no Americans. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, Charles Martin won the belt in the Balkans and on the technicality. Oh, we're gonna yeah. fight Charles Martin and yeah. bait him in. And, paid for that. And, his, yeah. and Charles Martin kind of gave him the belt. Yeah, that you know? was garbage. So I mean, like I said before, like I said, I, I've I've always thrown you know, rocks at AJ for like, yo, I know he on some shit. And then, you know, I get caught up with this crap. So, I mean, it is what it is. Like, listen, man, like I said before, I made mistakes and it is what it is. But at the same time is that I know once I got him out of UK, he was going to be a lot different. It's going to be a totally different fighter. And um, it's just how to, that's quick crumble. But, you know, go, it's, it's, bro, I look at boxing like this, like, you know, I stopped a long time ago, but, you know, I still kind of fuck around. And I can attest to what you was doing with your elbow because yeah. I had to get, a cortisone shot. Correct. I couldn't even throw a jab. Yeah. Because, you know, when you, when you hyperextend your arm, oh, that shit fucking. Yeah. It's, just, it's like to where you're down there in tears, the, the pain. Yeah. My, my a lot of people, if you don't no do idea. it, you will have no idea. No but, idea. So fuck it. It happened. Listen, you're not the only person this has happened to. Like you said, there's a lot of people, legends and current people right now who's been popped for things. They ate meat. That's what they say they got it from. <laughs> but, but even heavyweights. And it is what it is. Yeah. Like, it's just like. I don't like, like, I feel like everybody should just, just keep it gangster. Quit acting like, oh, you should be banned for life. Get the Man, fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. First of all, he, it, it was a mistake. Mm -hmm. The commission, everybody, no one thought it was a big enough deal to fucking suspend them for years. Mm -hmm. So it is what it is, right? But everybody got to, yeah, stop acting perfect, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has fucked up at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah facts. It, it's, it's, <laughs> that's how we grow and learn. Right? But that's about something we live in a generation of a bunch of sensitive motherfuckers too. Mm -hmm. So you gotta take it for for a grain of salt. You know what I mean? Like I'm very verbal about talking about Vada before. I'm verbal. I'm very animated about certain things, and I speak my mind. So of course you come with the big black guy come across Steve's and you're talking shit about their prince of prince prince of Charles or whatever. They gonna oh my god he's talking shit about AJ but like yeah man like that's how I am. You know what I mean? I can't be I'm not a goody two shoe like him. You know what I mean? Right. That's Eddie that's Eddie's golden goose too. So right, right. he gonna do what he gotta do to try and protect him. Yeah. You know? He's the golden boy and I get it. But it's it's gotta be that adversarial type you of energy. You gotta you, or or you it's gotta. boring. You don't want everybody 
I hate seeing guys slapping high five in between every round. Like, no, no, no. Not, I'm not doing shit. all that. I'm not doing all End that. End of the fight, we could, we could go out. Yeah, but I'm bad. It's war. I'm it's trying to knock, knock your block off. And that's, all that's the, time. the thing with like boxing here in America, right? It's like. It's more gritty. It's gritty because we fight. And like my last fight, I wasn't really in shape, mm. but I was like, well, fuck it. At least I could fight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'll default to just scrapping if we have to. You mm. know what I'm saying? And, and we like. You got that. Ruiz got that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people here got that. I didn't. I was like, when AJ was agreed to fight you, I'm like, okay, because I honestly no knock to AJ. Yeah. I didn't. I don't know the culture. Yeah, I'm yeah. very interested. You know, uh, shout out to Simeon Panas, one of my good best homies. I told him I want to spend some time out there to get to know mm -hmm. us in another place. Yeah. Right. But I'm like, because it just don't seem like. It's as volatile there as it is here. No, no, no. So, but I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, do we got some? He's a good boxer, but can he fight, right? And when he agreed to fight you, I'm like, he, he must can fight. If he's confident enough to nah, fight you. No, he can definitely fight, but there's, there's different styles. Styles make, make fights, you know what I mean? Like, I think Dylan White is one of probably the most greediest heavyweights out there, yeah. to come, you know, for, and, for me. And, and you my guy, but I fuck with Dillian too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, talk yeah, shit we, about each other, but y'all yeah, yeah. gotta do that. Yeah, yeah, selling yeah. fights. And we cool, we cool too. Yeah. You know what I mean? It is, it's when, the, when, the, when, when they sign that contract, it's all war. That's yeah. all it is, you know what I mean? But there's certain, there's certain people, energy, and they add it to you just don't agree with because you just know they just fake as hell. Right. And it's like, man, get the hell out of my face. And that's why me and AJ didn't really click, and I still don't, still wanna knock his block off, you know what I mean? But like, the whole, way how the whole situation even came out was just wrong on the promotion of South before they got all the facts, before they got the details, even called me and talked to me, they just like blew it all up and made it something bigger than what it really was. You know right. what I mean? And for it to be, you know, the English, the English was a favorite. It was like, listen, the way how the promoter or how they would dictate it, the whole world over there would, would get it. You know, in America, we're more forgiving on the part like, yeah, we fall off the horse, yo, get back up, champion, deal with it. And yeah. you care about more they, like. They, they support their guys because they got a couple top guys. Yeah. Uh, I believe Tyson Fury had a, a, a issue, right? Yeah, facts, facts. Um, Tyson you know, had one. it's guys that it happens, it goes yeah. away, and then people proceed on with their lives. Nobody's screaming for people to be banned from boxing. I don't like that shit. It's not because you know we could back it up to the generation before and before that. You know, our favorite fighters was probably all on shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot it of is what it is. A lot of information. So, there, so, yeah. but it is what it is. What people don't understand is like sometimes. I don't, listen, if it's banned, it should not be in it. That's what I believe. But I do understand, like, if it's, uh, 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 the amount of money that changes lives is on the line, people are gonna look for any advantage they can. So, so if you get caught, you get caught. You gotta, you gotta face the consequences. But here's the thing, all you motherfuckers out there taking this moral high ground, knock it off. Y'all would, <laughs> would be running to the, to, the, to the juice man, you know what I'm saying? And you can't really be, knock somebody, not saying Big Baby did it, I know he didn't. Yeah. I, under, I know his situation. Yeah. But you can't really shit on people that, that may have tried to do that because you would be doing the same thing. You're not in that situation, you don't know. You gotta, you gotta understand, man, everybody gonna feel like, my thing is, I tell everybody, if you're perfect, I guess you're closer to Jesus than, yeah, you know, you know what is, I mean? Yeah, my bad, you my perfect, bad. my you bad. Per, you perfect, but. I forgot y'all yeah, perfect. A lot, a lot of y'all be, y'all be the car watching between your lunch break. Yeah. <laughs> and, and freaking probably cheat on your girl. So listen, yeah. like that's all that perfect, junk. I, I'm not trying to be that. I'm always trying to be a real, a real model. You know what I mean? Not a role model, not a real, playing the role. No, so, exactly. You know what I mean? So, people appreciate that. Yeah. People appreciate definitely, real definitely, people. Definitely, definitely. People love Cardi be because she's fucking real. real real you know what i'm saying people love real people you know what that's mean? why we love Charles Carter, BX. you know what i'm saying so so you know so all right bro so we got we got tyson fury we got uh deontay wilder we got andy ruiz and joshua yeah who do you want who, who, oh who, man who, who's next what's next so, for you? so we First, what's next for you so we're talking about suspension be up september 19th um big baby promotion is going to be in the front line we're just working out what the biggest promotion company we could work with get the best deal and figure out what's the next step it'll probably looking like uh i'm liking the manual charge Trevor Bryant. they're fighting for one of the last heavyweight titles out there wba heavyweight regular title and um hopefully we get one of those suckers and knock one of them out and then try to get a big fight by december uh, hopefully, if uh, Andy Ruiz and AJ situation gets worked out, we get the winner of that. And um, who wins that fight? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it all depends on the the the. the, the mm, mm. 
All depends on where the fight's at. Okay, question for you. Do you think Andy Ruiz is just better than Joshua? I believe all around boxer, I feel like Andy is a better boxer. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, AJ does have a certain amount of size and, and, and the length and has some explosiveness. Mm -hmm. The question is how long can he keep it up? And he gassed it out in all his fights. And he did it in this fight as well, too. Mm -hmm. So I feel like he has certain advantages when he's in the UK. He's a little, little more lenient with his TUEs. If you go Google that, you figure that out. Well, and I'm dealing, again. he's a little T more lenient with his TUEs. And, um, you know, Dylan White, another heavyweight boxer, kind of went in detail on that. And you kind of see the difference in his performances when he fights here right. and when he fights in, in the UK. And you kind of see the same thing when Vladimir Klitschko and Vitaly Klitschko, when they fought in, 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 in Ukraine, when they fought in America, yeah. the performance was big, a, little, a little different. Just so y'all know, like y'all may not realize, in America, the drug testing protocol is very fucking strict. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fight was a low-level fight. It was a pro fight, though. They tested me before, and right after they pulled me out the ring, they walked me to the bathroom. Yeah. Because I looked like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah correct. So, it, it is, dudes get popped left and right out here. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. And be, a lot of times it'd be like simple things over the counter, uh, pre-workouts, you know, post-workout stuff. So, a lot of things are hitting. Some some labs use, use do more than one product. They they bottle more than one product, and that product might have something in it. So Or contaminated yeah, facilities. Yeah, contaminated. So, and, you got to be and, real and, careful. And on, on, on a level of that, like... With Ambrosia, everything is NSF. So the facilities we use, everything we use is as clean as it gets. Correct, correct. There's none of that. It's impossible to happen with our products. Correct, you know what correct. I mean? So athletes looking for sponsors, holla at your boy. <laughs> holla at your boy. But but now, nah, but um, okay, so my opinion, and well, I feel like in the heavyweight division right now, I feel like you got your shot. You, you People don't know, like, because I'm close to him and I know everything he's been dealing with and going through. He's been, you've been through a lot. Yeah. You and Dillian White, to me, are the most dangerous men in the heavyweight division, Correct. straight up. And both of y'all, I feel like, have been getting avoided for the most part. You know what I'm saying? And um, when I see Dillian pose, I, I feel his pain. I like, I feel you, bro. You should have. Yeah, he's been mandatory for a while. You know what I mean? And, and yeah. you, you as well. And I remember, I don't know if you remember, but you was gunning at. I think Deontay like, bro, chill. Cause you was going so fucking hard. Was yeah. it Deontay or AJ? De it was both of them. One of, somebody was, hopped in the ring on somebody. Yeah, that, that was Deontay. Okay, that but I hit Deontay. you, I was like, bro. Just, yeah. nah, because yeah. here's the thing, here's the thing, bro. Cause these people, Deontay, they're all men. They're all people, right? Yeah. So I feel like, I don't want it to be a situation to where you hurt somebody feeling so much to where they're like, I'm not gonna give him He's not gonna eat off of me. Yeah, but I say I can't. I can't do that because if we fighters, like I can't. If I say you want it and you want this, work, I'm from Brooklyn. So me and you step to me and you want this work, I'm gonna give this work and best man win. You know what I mean? But Deontay's, a, he is straight up squares. Straight up, I'm gonna say he L seven. Like he, from the time he started boxing till when he started making money, his whole aura just changed, trying to be this killer. He not built like that. And that's my problem with Deontay. You know what I mean? But there's a lot of more history. I ain't going to that, but. It's one thing is being real, being up front. Like his whole thing, like he give guys title shots because they were nice to him. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he 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 has more class and respect. But all the stuff that he says. But see, this is the thing, big baby. This is what you gotta understand, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm big on the big, the bottom line. Yeah. The bottom line is you want to get that ass. Yeah, but I'm not strap. kissing no ass. Though. No, I'm not saying yeah, that. And that's what they want. That's what he I'm wants. I'm not saying though. that. That's what he, that's what yeah. he wants. You know what I mean? The first person that really really pissed him off, and it's because he knew it was easy money, was Brazil. Mm. You know what I mean? He and he and his, his brother. Blonde side Brazil after a fight in Alabama, mm -hmm. so that's why that whole Adam Monsi was there. But other than that, everybody be be kissing his ass or be real calm. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna be that way. Either you gonna fight me or not. And hopefully, when I get to that main position, we make it happen. But yeah. it's so funny with sanctioning bodies. You can be in mandatory position for like two years and still not get a title shot, like how Dylan White is in with WBC. It's, just, it's so grimy, man. It's crimey, man. I feel me. like I hate to say, I wish the government was kind of involved, but I wish boxing was more regulated because. The grimy shit be happening, bro. And everybody sees, yep, they go boxing, like the corruption and yeah, shit, right? Yeah. I mean, I was at, I was at, uh, uh, shout out to Tevin Farmer, I was at his fight, me and Elijah, when he got robbed against the Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw everything unfold. We was getting ready to go celebrate. It was an easy win. easy win. And then they give it to the other guy. You know what I'm saying? So it's so much, it's so much shit, and he got popped. It's so much corruption in boxing. It's, we, I love, you love it. We yeah. love this shit, grew up in it. I love fighting. And it just, it just hurts, <laughs> it hurts the heart when something real foul happens. All right, I got a question for you about Tyson Fury. You don't have to answer this, but I hear that you and Tyson might be, be, be lacing them um, up. Nah, it's not, it's not, it's in talks. It's not happening, I don't think. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like they have their 
schedule kind of laid out for okay. him to build his reputation in America to make the AJ, a, I mean the Tyson versus Deontay fight, you know. And I heard it from you know the from Bazo and Mount, you know. They don't want no hiccups right now. Right, you know I, mean? I got so, you. And fighting me right now is going to cause. <laughs> so what is? Ripple. How do you rate? I, I'm gonna I'm throw some names at you. I want I want you to assess these fighters, mm. Tyson Fury. Um, I have him as somewhere between the two and three rank. I got Deontay as number one right now in case the green belt a little longer. Um, I got Andy at two, um, Tyson at three. Uh, what about Tyson as a fighter? Oh, man, he's great, uh, good jab, good hand movement, good footwork. Um, he's an all-around good fighter, doesn't have really great power, but he's a good fighter for a big guy that his size, he moves very well. You know what I mean? But uh, overall, he's a good dude, man. I mean, we always talk crap back and forth, but he's an overall good dude, I like, man. I like this. I love him. No, nah, like, Tyson's Tyson, like Tyson, he's dope. I mean, from what he came back from, what he went through, with his own testing situation and dealing with depression, man, he, he's, right. a, he's a good brother, man. He gave me a good word. I would to see him fight somebody we heard of the other day. Yeah, me too. That me kind too. of, I was like, eh. yeah. I thought the dude just sat down. He didn't yeah. Like that. <laughs> and it was too too much respect. They yeah, yeah, yeah. Home, homeboy, homeboy. I don't like that shit. I'm, homeboy gave up after yeah. the first round. Yeah. yeah. Who is this guy? Not right? bad for twenty million dollars for somebody to give up Jeez. in the first round. <laughs> so I, right, but shout out to Tyson Fury. He's he's facts, he's, facts. he's dope. All right, Gypsy uh, King, uh, uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. Um, definitely one of my new favorites. You know, but I've always been a fan of, of Andy. Uh, don't look the part, but the boy got skills. He was actually going to help me in my training camp getting ready for AJ. A lot of people was like, oh, why are you bringing Andy? He's, he's short, he's chubby. I'm like, stop making fights. The boy got hands, you know what I mean? And he, and he know how to put the pressure. He'll keep me sharp, keep, make me keep my hands up. And um, listen, he had an opportunity, took it. But he's definitely in the top five now for sure, hands down. And I'm definitely a good, good, good person outside the ring. Yeah, I agree. I, shout out to Andy. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with Andy, too. Andy actually offered to help me, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? So that's what's up. But I think Andy's an excellent uh, boxer, you know what I mean? Um, aggressive. And, you know, he got Mexican style, but he has the Cuban skills, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Which um, you see it. I like Andy as a fighter. Yeah, people want to look at him, but they say some about boxing, sometimes yeah, 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 boxing yeah. is not about that. You know what I mean? 300 so, pounds, like, he can't move, he can't yeah, do this. And yeah. have the highest point output in division, some exactly, really exactly. good defense, so, exactly. you know. All right. And, uh, and also, what I think he had a huge advantage with, with Joshua, which I think a lot of guys would, you, even you, is being shorter to be able to fight mm -hmm. inside. Because I've never seen him fight inside. Yeah, I don't think inside. he can fight inside. Yeah. And Mike Tyson said it a long time ago. He said, he said, my advantage is I'm shorter than these guys, so I have leverage is punching up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And just aggressive and, and just pushing the action forward. Nobody, I bring this reference up, Tyrell Biggs and Mike Tyson. We talked about this earlier. Tyrell Biggs was like, if you look at him, he was like the second come of, of Ali, style-wise. Light on his feet, dance. Like, y'all like how Tyson Fury fight, look at Terrell Biggs. Oh, it's just that when Mike, Mike Tyson annihilates somebody, you forget about them. Correct, they, correct. they don't make it into his, the correct, history correct. books. But he, was, he, was good. he obliterated some phenomenal guys that'll be top guys right now. You know what I'm saying? Tyrell Biggs, well, I'll take even back, Greg, Greg Page. You know what I mean? Another See, guy, dance yeah, on his feet, good right. jack, good head movement. You know what I mean? But Tyrell Biggs. He, I lead the fuck out of uh, Mike for a couple rounds. Dance beautifully, pop that jab. He'll move and uppercut him on the way out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Spin him. But it's only it's only so long until a pit bull. I get he's you. Gonna yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna bite you. He's gonna nip you somewhere. That's how you fight. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, with with the AJ fight with you, the only way I seen AJ winning is if he can dance, which I've never seen. I doubt he can have that kind of coordination. Mm -hmm. Just keep you off and can move and punch. We've never seen that. So no. We always see him, people standing in front of him, and he get to measure them yeah. and, and break them oh, down. People are talking about his jab. His jab ain't so great because his jab don't really keep it below. It's more like to try to keep you away in a situation for a right hand right. or try to catch it's you with a measuring. Yeah, so. His, his jab is the only used to measure and keep, just keep you over there. Like, stay here, stay here, stay here. Correct, correct, just like correct. when Ali used to talk shit about forming, like telegraphing everything. Yeah. Here comes the left hook. It, AJ and Wilder is the same, bro. They got to keep you way over here to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And with boxing, you got to have, yeah, you got to have that, but you got to have everything. Everything. And AJ, AJ, just AJ have, don't got he does have a those. good. He, no, he doesn't have a good inside uppercut. He tries to throw like a lazy hook to go yeah, under. Yeah. You know, I didn't notice that. You know how to set that trap for the uppercut. Yeah. But I, didn't, I, I never thought he had the arsenal to keep you off no. his ass 
or or Ruiz. So it's certain it's styles make fights, and that's just a horrible. You were a horrible fight for him. I was like, they really put that together. Yeah, everybody, everybody knew what was gonna happen to that boy. But hey, the cards are full the way they made, and uh. And here's the thing. AJ would not knock Big Baby out. Nope. Listen, he's not gonna say this, but I know the guy. I've seen him. He get kicked in the head, <laughs> and like nothing. Not that kickboxers are really tough guys, right? There's been times uh, in the past where kickboxers have transitioned to boxing and dominated, mm -hmm. right? They make a punch. They, they, they sit down on shots. Mm -hmm. But he, he has that toughness, and he's 300 pounds and in shape. When you're in shape, it's hard to get hurt, okay? I remember me being in excellent shape and getting ganked. And I'm like, oh, it ain't that bad. Ain't that bad. You know what yeah, exactly, exactly. But you're in phenomenal shape. You're strong, and you're 300 pounds. Like people don't, they don't appreciate. They can't appreciate. Until like, they see you in personal, because I or get they can feel yeah, that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I see, all the times, like yo, everybody see me, especially a lot of UK fans. They be like, damn, like we know you was heavy, but we thought you were short. And they dense, see you, tall, they're like, they're like, man, you built like a. Because you're not fat. Nah, you're nah, big. Nah, nah. You know exactly, what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. Some people are just big people. You're a big person. Big guy. You know what I'm saying? So, and you're muscular and you're strong. So, and athletic. That's a. I was like, they AJ? Yo, I was giving AJ a lot of props for, for fighting me. Yeah. I was like, that's what's, I'm happy he giving my, my brother a shot. But also, I'm like, he got balls. Yeah. He coming over here and you. In my wow. backyard? In my hometown? It would it made a lot of sense for it to be New York, all of that shit. Oh, you know what I mean? You know, I'm just good, it was good for Bissy to go marketing for the networks and stuff but, like that. But, but uh, I was like, yo, okay, all right, AJ. I didn't. I, it's a, it's a whole other backstory, you know, conspiracy, but we ain't gonna go into that people, right now. People, <laughs> and it's funny because. People were, the media and the fans were shitting on you. I'm like, what do y'all been, what rock? Like, 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 like Roger Mayweather, y'all don't know shit about, about boxing. boxing. But the odds became a lot even because it was like 14 to one the first came out, then with the seven to one, and the last time with the four and one, you know what I mean? They had, they had uh, Andy at like 11 to one or 12 to one, you know what I mean? The, the fight night, you know That's what I mean? True. So I'm like, y'all don't know boxing. Like, hundred racks even, be even like when, when when you got removed and Andy got put in, I'm like, it's still bad for AJ. Yeah. I knew he was gonna get touched up. Combination, fast hands. I thought that um the Tackham, see a small guy is is kryptonite for a big long guy like yeah, that. Yeah. I thought Tackham was doing okay. I didn't think he should have got they should have stopped it. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was some okay, I see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yeah. What did you think about that fight? Uh, Takam was losing the fight, but he was starting to, he was hitting AJ and he was, frustrating He was making him. it very difficult. Very difficult. And the 10-round, he was still alive, but they wanted to protect his undefeated record with knockouts. Think, to me, Takam is not that good. Yeah. But if he, was a, guy. if he was a little bit better, I think he could have probably could have won that yeah, fight yeah. because a smaller guy is kryptonite to, yeah. he's too long, yeah. bro. Yeah. And Takam didn't have his confidence until later on in the, in the rounds, mm -hmm. and he knows he was touching the AJ slow down dramatically, you right. know what I mean? But like I said, I'm twice the size of Takam. <laughs> yeah. Twice as me. Okay, so what do you rate, how do you rank AJ as a boxer and fighter? Um, I mean, he's still one of the top guys in the division. You know, one loss won't define him, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I've always said it. I always knew AJ was overhyped, you know what I mean? I just feel like he's very limited. Um, I don't think he's going to get too much better than where he's at now. Yeah. It's just that, you know, he's just very robotic and very, very yeah. stiff, you know what I mean? So he, he reminds me of Klitschko. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like a reincarnation yeah. of the Klitschko. But Vladimir did, Vladimir did reinvent himself with Emmanuel Storbomb size. Right. His footwork Old got a time. better job. Yeah, correct, yeah. correct. Yeah. But one thing I, I've noticed that in some ways, though, I've never really seen Vladimir Klitschko quit or really, how can I say, uh, been deterred. You right. know, yeah. you know, AJ yeah. looked very deterred. He didn't. Yeah. He, he kind of gave up mentally after the third, second, three times. I, he got I noticed down. that, and I, I was kind of bummed out. Even though I did feel like I thought Ruiz was going to win the fight, right? But I like AJ, and I didn't think I, I didn't think he would quit. Yeah. But it looked like he was, and I hate to say quit. You know, who knows what was going on? What I like about AJ is he ain't making no excuses. Correct, correct. So it. it Knowing AJ and what I think of him, I think he's a stand-up guy. So it could have been something going on to where he just couldn't really get going. Who knows? But I, I, I remember the first time I lost a fight, it was a, a, a little dude from Parker, Arizona. So I was about 13. I didn't know how to fight somebody like that. Yeah. I didn't even, I was checked out. I was like, man, fuck this. Because I knew I could beat this guy up. Correct, he couldn't hurt me. But, you know, it's the rules of boxing. You know, whatever. Correct. So maybe he dealt with something like that. 
maybe he didn't fight spar against anybody small and aggressive like that and that can pop so who knows i really don't know i'm not gonna make excuses for him it looked like he gave up yeah, yeah. but i'm not even gonna say that andy it looked like andy just broke his will that's it that's it pressure pressure busts pipes and yeah. you find an aggressive guy with those or to produce diamonds you know what I'm <laughs> that's the holy field yeah, 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 yeah. you know what i mean, yeah, I mean so. all right so all right so anybody else you rank pretty high in, in the division uh we still got dylan white that's in the, yeah, in the shout top to, 10. shout out to dylan uh -huh. i think like i said you and dylan to me mm -hmm. you dylan and ruiz but ruiz is in position now but you and dylan are the guys yeah, yeah. And, uh i like usage we don't know what he could do yet yeah, yeah I, i'm not but I'm i like not, him I'm not, i like a heavyweight to fight heavyweight we got joseph parker who's back in the mix again um Adam Kornaki, my boy from Brooklyn. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. He's going yeah. he's he's fighting Chris Ariola coming yeah. up in July. Yeah. That's gonna be a bond burner. Yeah. Um I like both of them. who else we got? I mean that's really it. You know what I mean? Think about it. What do you what do you rank these guys um the British guys? Uh uh the one guy, uh the, the light skinned dude. Joy Joyce. Joyce. Yeah, yeah, the juggernaut. Ah. Mm -hmm. He got, a, he got a gas tank like you. No, he doesn't. You don't? No, 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 no. He does not. He does not. He's very big, lethargic, slow as shit. I've never seen him get tired, though, and he got a high output. Yeah, he fought when he fought to the front. You see that fight? His last I, fight? You know, I, never, I didn't watch that Boy, fight. you got to watch it. Okay. It was a horrible All fight. Right. Um, yeah, I feel like when he steps it up against better opponents, he's going to definitely get outclassed. You know, he fought Usyk not that long ago in the amateurs. I saw that. Man, Usyk, Usyk got with him. Outclass him out yeah. boxing for a smaller guy, right. you know what I mean? But like I said before, you know, his, his career is still young, and uh, he called me out a couple of times, but they had no money, so right. I would have been knocked him out. But uh, you know, once that time comes, I'm gonna turn that light skinned boy into pudding. It's another dude out of UK, apparently, he, he knocked out AJ in sparring, Daniel Dubois, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. About um, him. young kid. I don't know if it happened or not, yeah, yeah, that's what I heard too. Um, he was gonna come to camp trying to help me out as well, too. We had him coming in, um, durable kid. Um, still learning. Right. Um, he green, but he, he green. Yeah, he got raw. Some, he, he got, got some there. He got some power. He got some there, yeah. You know what I mean? I think he's a little stiff. I want him to get his footwork together, get his mm. movement together. I think he'll definitely be a threat. He looks right. like more heart. Um, today you had TMZ, mm -hmm. right? You are good for the sport. You're good for entertainment in general because you got a fucking personality. You're funny. You know, you keep them laughing. Like, I went with you to the first TMZ interview and it was fucking. I was like, yo, this dude's a fucking natural. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I remember the first time we met, bro, you just had, you were animated. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. good personality, good energy Appreciate about you. You know what I mean? So, um, what's, it's gotta be more than boxing. Yeah, yeah, man. I've um, been working on a mixtape. Ron's Brown helping produce this mixtape we got going on right now. Uh, we just about to drop the first track, do the video back when I get back home in Brooklyn. Um, working on some reality, sto reality show stuff. Um, we staying busy, man, and acting. What kind of show is this? Uh, I can't say yet, you know okay. what I mean? Can't say exactly yet. But uh, yeah, man, we met with some couple of acting agencies out here and promoters. I think you need to, we need to get you going on YouTube, bro. This is TV. This is TV. This is TV. Let's do it it's then. TV. Listen, man. Y'all yeah, want to see that? Yeah. <laughs> Big baby YouTube channel, motherfucker. Nah, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? We got to get Studio we set, going. motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> you go to Pops. You know, Pops up the street. CT up the street. So yeah, yeah, that's what's up, man. Um, listen, bro. I love you. Love you too, you, bro. my baby, bro. Um, I got your back a million percent. You know that. I want nothing but success for you. You're talented. You know, you had a, a hiccup, a mistake. That's not the end of the world. You know that. Correct, correct. Y'all, and a lesson to y'all, man, like, nobody's fucking perfect. You know, everybody makes mistakes. It's how you deal with it and, and proceed. You know what I mean? Facts. And I know you're doing the right thing. One honorable thing about you is the fact that, you know, you you got suspended in one state. Mm -hmm. You can fight other places. Mm -hmm. You can fight in other countries. Mm -hmm. You can still make money in the sport. And you chose to not do it and honor that suspension. Correct, correct. And most people won't do that. So I respect you for yeah, that shit. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it, family. So you, I feel like you're learning. You've learned from the experience, and you're learning. And um, nothing but success for you. It's gonna happen. You know correct, correct. You know, I know that big eight to ten million dollar payday kind of hurt you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It hurt me for you. It hurt us God super damn it. But it's it's that's it's small. It's yeah, coming, yeah, yeah. It's coming. Nah, that's, nah, nah. You're gonna be like, 
you don't think back on it like I was really tripping on an eight million dollar payday. There's nothing. Listen, you know what we, gonna, saying? we gonna get it back. We, we gonna get, get it back. We gonna money. get it back. You know what I'm saying? Main thing is staying healthy, staying fit, staying nothing. right, mentally strong. Right. Stay away from the bullshit. And then we'll be fine, man. We'll be more. We need you out here in California. Yeah, I'll definitely be out here more for sure, for sure, yeah, man. Yeah, because the weather's good all year round, and bro, we got the sand for endurance shit and. The, the water is swimming. Like we, we need you here. You know what I'm saying? Definitely gonna be Cali more. Let me let me help wherever I can, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate I got it, you. Appreciate All right. it. And we out. Peace.